Hello fellow creative people, let me hope you are well and doing great. So today we come to our part 3 of what we usually discuss, okay, in the business side or on the business side, okay. So some advice, some experiences that we happen to experience maybe in what we do basically, maybe in what we should, um, maybe in life, 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 life matters of work as we start up our businesses as we do our businesses the experiences we happen to meet okay so as creative people and today i would love to share with the musicians basically so what do you basically do when you happen to release your songs the first thing that you have you happen to do when you happen to release your song okay so if there is something that is basically left out okay so endeavor to see that you at least try to mention something so if you are watching this video and you know yeah someone who has made some good money from the music industry and you can happen to share i usually share my email okay just below this video or below my videos that i happen to publish okay so today in this part four is what we are going to happen to share okay and i will go ahead because i'm a developer i do some website designing landing pages and and stuff besides doing videography as my profession and and and, and graphics designing plus animation so, um i would i would love to like um, share with the fellow musicians or someone who is basically beating, okay so what do you basically do the moment you release your song okay and what like the different things that you will go through i would say that the first thing would be after me releasing my song okay as me sharing what i usually do after me releasing my song the first thing that i consider is seeing that um I'm well contented with the song. That is the first thing. Because before you get contented with any project, it means that you... Before you get contented with any project, it means that you can continue producing that same project for several, several like years or months working on the same project. So work on something and say, this is done. So now let me continue with this other project. So after, like that, the other thing that you would also consider doing, giving your song to a distributor. Look out for a distributor. Below this video, I'm going to be sharing uh, DistroKid and Ditto. Okay? For me, to me, I would say that those are platforms that are easier for someone who is basically just starting up to use, to navigate around, because they're a little bit specific and the additional like the additional charges that would be charged you just subscribe for them okay and if you don't you are not forced to and they a little bit direct from where you upload your music from okay to where you put your writer which people have you collaborated with splitting the royalties if you did any collaborations with some other artists that is also more directly put and handled then the next thing that I would say, after handing that music to maybe a, a distributor, the next thing I would say is handing that music to what? To handing that music to to people, uh, not people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Handing that music to a PR or okay. So let me say um. Let me say you have released your music okay after giving it to a distributor you give it to a pro like bmi song uh b besides bmi we have um scap then there is sesak but some just invite you so you cannot just submit your music so the best one that the best ones that would easily work along with you is uh, is SCAP and BMI. So you get your music and you register it with those platforms. Okay, you submit it in 
then after putting that music there you wait okay then besides that you also get the same music and submit it to song trust okay and i also share the link to song trust this collects the different mechanical and performance realities of you as a musician if you can't if you own the rights that is what i would say because at times you find that someone someone does what someone just owns the rights he does not sing but he facilitated and he bought the right he bought the rights to a song okay so you may find that this person has that right okay to demand for the royalties from that song then extending my my other like regards what else would i want to like talk about okay the other thing that i would love to talk about is telling you that do not think small do not think small and besides the thinking thinking affects okay thinking affects what we do let me say if you think of any idea then again you think you you think of yourself as having maybe less money okay let me give you this example i may have an idea and i want to put it to life okay the idea has come to my head then i want to put it to life hmm? so what is the next thing to do is to look for means how do i put it to life okay so how do i put it to life let me say if i don't think big if i don't come up with ideas of how to make that happen and i think of myself as a, a, a handicapped person like i have no way to like make this happen i like get an idea and i'm like i can't do it i don't have this i can't do it because i'm this i can't do it because of this and this so since i got the idea then i have to work tirelessly okay tirelessly to achieve it so if i don't have something if my money is small so i'll be like okay yeah my money is what small that i'm having right now right is less so how do i do it do i have to save okay for a given period of time do i have to quit this job and look for do i have to look for another job and quit this one because it would not help me achieve the goal or achieve where i want to be by a certain period of time you get that so besides that the other thing that i would i would say b- b- before before i go there i would say let me say um yeah that is why i would say that thinking small and speaking small affects us because most of the times when you're like thinking small that i can't do this maybe i would have done this and i can't do it you don't even improve you don't task yourself to see that you get to where you want to be because you think small you think that small that 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 big thing that you want to achieve cannot be achieved by you okay and once you speak small you think of yourself small you are making yourself weak okay because you are putting it to yourself that you can't leave that step to another step so you have to break those chains okay as a creative person so as a creative person so if i'm a videographer if you're a videographer like me you have to challenge yourself that is why sometimes you have to have some other businesses fetch out money okay Look out for some artists call them maybe they have less money they happen to give you a project that is of less money invest in it and see that maybe you put in your own money to see that you hire machines or the profits that you would have got okay um, you you like you forego them and you get the best machines to see that you get out the best prints to get to somewhere what to achieve a certain picture so that if another person comes in this person is ready and he's willing to pay that money okay um, then the other thing that i would speak about is uh, 
I would say because most of you may like be like I would save my money to maybe get to a certain level. Maybe I would be saving my money to see that I achieve this thing. Yes, saving is okay. You should save because there are those things that happen, like you can fall sick and it is like you yeah, are alone. You yeah, are the caretaker of yourself, you yeah, are you yourself, you yeah, are the business, you yeah, are the business, you yeah, are the... You, you, me, kugama, you are everything to yourself. Let me say that. Okay? You save some money. But what you should know about saving is you can't save to grow. Okay? You can't save to like accumulate income. You get it. For example, if I have 50,000, then I happen to save it after three months and I remove that same saving that I saved. Would it increase? Yes, even if I just put it on the bank on a savings account, the amount that they happen to give as a reward of saving, as interest of saving, it is less. Okay, so it cannot start up something, or it cannot even, like if I save the 50,000, it cannot make, it cannot make um, 75,000. You get it. So, let us say, in our African settings, when like we would say our parents and grandparents what they used to do is when a season comes they plant when they harvest they take some for selling they keep some for food maybe in their granaries and stuff then after the rest that they have they re again in the next season as after saving they save to be plant to plant that in the next season. So unless you have a goal, that is the saving that would be better. Unless you have a goal, okay, that this and this, yes, you have different specific goals, but you can't save money to accumulate it. Okay? So it is saving to work on a, spec in a specific task, saving with a certain goal. Maybe I'm saving this for my health. Where People are now taking insurances, but the best way to grow money is by use investing. Okay, so I would encourage you to invest. Okay, you keep some, but always invest. You invest to grow, you invest to multiply your income. Not that every time you invest, you expect to get, but as in our previous videos, I told you, you invest in a need okay so where you see need that is where you invest okay after seeing that there is a need in this that is where you should invest then the other thing i would say is take 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 your time as you decide about that of what you are to invest in make sure you are really into it you can even consult some people who are already doing it you can voluntarily go there and you volunteer to step in work with them you can even approach them and say i'm doing something maybe closer to what you're doing how can i be of value okay so you offer a service okay to those people as you learn Okay, maybe they could even because if I'm a small business owner and I see a certain person maybe doing what I can where I can hope or where I can offer. It is easier for me to go there and say, How can I be of help? Okay, so can I like submit this? If you are rejected, cool and good, you continue. So if this one rejects you, another one will maybe tell you improve this or why you need to improve this so that we are able to work together okay you learn something even if you are rejected so that is my other advice that i would say then what i would say that most of us want to build brands okay i'm a graphics designer also let me give you an example i'm a graphics designer also but i find myself always wanting after 
some good research. I know all the qualities of a good logo, what, what. So you find it difficult to create your own soft logo. Why? Because you know what it means. And you're like, I have this and this and this. So what should I exactly make my logo be? You get it. So another thing is move along as you do your businesses. Making money or not making money, but aim at things that your business grows, it grows with the trust with your customers, okay? Then you brand yourself as you go, okay? Because you get to know what should I improve, what should I do better. So thank you, okay? Let us meet in the fifth video. Thank you for watching.